Hey, this is Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. My son and I are going to take you on one of my favorite things to do, underwater hunting. And that would be spearfishing underwater with scuba equipment. You can see on the wall back there, I've got uh, four current state records. One's for archery, one's for a spear, and then two are underwater spear gun. I'm hoping to get, mm, I'd like to get two or three more yet this year. Watch the video. Um, I get a hold of some big fish, uh, but I kind of, my spear gun's maybe a little bit underpowered, but I'm going to have that solved by part two. So check it out. Water visibility is about eight feet. Usually it's two to three times this. Found huge schools of two two inch largemouth bass. They just kind of follow you around. The smaller fish are less afraid. The bigger ones tend to keep their distance. It's pretty awesome swimming in a school of largemouth. The majority of your fish are rarely out in open water. When you find trees and vegetation, that's where you find all your fish. <laughs> What's up? The sky. Yeah. I'm not seeing much today. Just like with all hunting, you always see what you're not hunting. The bass just kept coming up begging to get shot. curious fish. If you wanted to, you could just fill a basket full of nice sized bluegill. It was really hard not to shoot some of these bass, but wasn't hunting bass, I was hunting rough fish. State records. If you can't tell, I get really excited here. I spot a huge carp and I'm trying to get around so I can get a side shot and I get hung up on a branch. And there he goes. There's currently no state record in Nebraska for a white crappie and the hybrid in black is pretty small. I can't believe I missed that. Compared to last year, this water's incredibly murky. Last year I had about 20 feet visibility. I could see fish well, well beyond the range of my spear gun. Check out this big bass hiding here under the tree. 
He's just sitting down there watching me swim. He doesn't care. I thought this was a done deal for sure he was in the bag and then he just boom he takes off pulls the shaft out as you can see I got that big one I thought for sure I was gonna be able to pull this guy in but I tell you when they're getting 20 30 pounds they got a lot of pull on them and a lot of times they'll yank that that spear right out if it doesn't go clean through. I had some great footage of another one that I nailed out in open water and unfortunately that uh, that got deleted when I was trying to transfer it over. Hey, one other thing, all this footage was shot with my little GoPro. Okay, this is a refurbished one I found on Amazon for $100. You can take it down to 25 feet. As you can see in the footage, this thing did fabulous. I was super, super happy with it. This is going to be the first of, I'm hoping, many videos to come. I got permission for a couple other sand pits and get out there when the water's clear. And I'm going to, this was kind of a more of an introduction so you could see kind of what it was like underwater. Then uh, the following videos are pretty much going to be just the, the action of uh, hopefully nailing some, some big carp, maybe some gar, and whatever else I can get a hold of.